Hi. Today you're going to see how to set up media queries for print. What I have on my screen is my Pittsburgh Sports Arenas page. I have a black background with yellow text and gray fonts. I also have pictures lined up on the left. Um, this looks great online. When I right click and print this, it doesn't look so good. My menu bar, which doesn't make sense in print, stays there. The text is still yellow. I don't want yellow text because I'm printing to my printer. I may not have color. I have two pages. I want to see if I can get this down to one. So I'm going to set up a media query print to handle this. And all this is done through CSS. So I'm going to go to my brackets. And here's my existing CSS page. I've got a background color set. I have everything you're used to. I'm going to start by creating a new section. Set at media screen. At media is a directive to the browser. It says whenever we're on the media, do the following things for the screen. Um, if I add a column here, print, I'm going to end up with do this for both print and screen. So I'm going to open and close a block. And then I'm going to take this existing code. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to paste it up into there. What I've basically done is I've now allowed my CSS to respond to screen and print requests. Come back to here, it still looks the same. Print, it still looks the same. But now I have a new section I can work with. So I created this at media screen and print. This happens whether it's print or on screen. I'm now going to modify it to be just print. So I've created another section. And what I do in media print is I change the output based on how I want it to print. So for instance the nav bar. I don't want the nav bar. I'll do nav bar display colon none. It does not make sense to have a menu bar and a printout. So when I set this, and I come back to here, right click and print, if you look across the top, nav bar is gone. Uh, now I need to deal with this yellow text. You go back to my code, you see that my body background is some sans serif font. That's just the default sans serif. Sans serif is great for reading on screen. It's not good for reading on text. Likewise, I have a background color and I have a foreground color. I'm going to override these down here. I'll set just black for the foreground color. I won't set a background color, so I'll have the default white. Actually, no, that's not true. I'll set the background color. Oops. And I'll set a font family. Serif is fonts with tails. They're best to look at on paper. Times Roman is the most famous one of those. I come back to here. I right click. I print. I can see that everything is black. If you were capable of zooming in this, you would see that's a serif font, but it's too hard to see here when I zoom. You have to take my word for it that it works. Basically, the moral of the story is you undo anything on your screen that would not look good on printing. Some common things you'll do is turn off columns, uh, maybe hide pictures, hide ads, whatever you don't want to display when it comes out. All right, thanks.